Good morning children. Today I am going to explain lesson number 13, having fun. So this is our last lesson in social subject. So with this we are completing our syllabus. Is it clear children? So having fun. We have fun with family and friends. Whenever we want fun, you want to play. With whom you play? With your friends or with your relatives, children like cousins siblings with them you will be playing and enjoy enjoy is it clear children so your father and mother they will also be having fun inviting their friends for lunch or dinner to your house or celebrating the festivals calling them to celebrate the festivals in your house gathering together having fun and fun like Singing, dancing, having lunch together, dinners, like that. So you will be chit-chatting, they will be chit-chatting. Huh? And they will be watching the television, sitting together. So like that, they will be your parents and you children will be having fun at home with your friends and relatives. So beside that, when you are having fun, just you will be playing with the friends or with your cousins or siblings like carom board, ludo, snake and ladders like that in the house. So they are indoor games. The games that you play in your house, inside the house, they are called as indoor games. See, sometimes you will be playing indoor games and sometimes you all, uh, one day you will be playing inside the house indoor games like that. One day you will all going to a park. And there you will play and spend some time in the park. Or sometimes you will be going to the zoo. Sometimes you will be going to watch uh, movies outside. So like that you will be having fun and indoor and outdoor games with your friends and relatives. See, coming to indoor and outdoor games. The games that you play inside your house. Like carom board, snake and ladder, ludo. They are indoor games. Watching TV. Next, singing and dancing by keeping the television and imitating the dance uh, coming in the te television like that. So these are all indoor games. The games that you play inside the house, they are called as indoor games. And coming to outdoor games. See, when you go to a picnic, there you will be playing football, or running race like that you will be keeping. Or if you go to a zoo. Or a circus. Or an exhibition. There you will be playing the roller roaster. Doing the cycling. When you go to a park you will be playing seesaw. And slide like that. So those are outdoor games. Beside that cricket, football, hockey, table tennis, swimming. They are also outdoor games. Because you play outside the house, they are called as outdoor games. The games that you play inside the house, they are indoor games. Such as cricket, uh, such as carom board, ludo, chess, snake and ladders. And the games that you play outside, like cycling, road roaster, seesaw, slide, cricket, football, hockey, table tennis, swimming, like that, they are called as outside Outdoor games. Indoor games and outdoor games. So you will be having fun with your friends and relatives. By enjoying and by playing indoor and outdoor games. Is it clear children? See sometimes you will be going to the restaurants also. Monthly once or twice. So like that you will be enjoying with your family. Is it clear children? So in the same way. In India, we are having different festivals. Different religions, they will be celebrating different types of festivals. By celebrating the festivals also, they gather their relatives and they will have fun by eating together, cooking together and eating together. So now we are going to learn about what are those different festivals. Is it clear children? See, festivals such as Holi, 
Diwali, Dasara, all these are Hindu's festivals. Eid, it is a festival of Muslims. Guru Purab, it is a festival of Sikhs. And Christmas, it is a festival of Christians. So like that, different religions, people celebrate different festivals. So first we will look at festival, holy festival. See, I think you enjoy holy festival. Why you enjoy? Because you want to play with the colors. Water colors or color, different colors such as gulal. And you want to you want to apply the different colors to your friends, to your relatives, siblings and have fun. And sometimes you will be throwing the eggs on their heads also. And uh, Holi is a festival of colors and it is a festival of sweets also. After playing with colors, you will be enjoying by eating sweets. So this is one festival, Holi festival. It is a festival of Colors. Now coming to Diwali festival. Already we have learned about Holy festival. It is a festival of colors. And it comes in the month of March or April. Now coming to Diwali. Diwali is also known as festival of lights. See here. Holy is known as festival of colors. But coming to Diwali it is known as festival of lights. See, it is celebrated in the month of October or November. Sometimes Diwali comes in October and sometimes it will come in November. And what we wear, we wear new clothes. For each and every festival, your father, mother, they will buy new clothes for you. And so for some important festivals, it is compulsory to wear new clothes. And do Lakshmi Puja. See, for Diwali, we pray to Goddess Lakshmi. Is it real children? And we decorate our houses with lights and candles by keeping diyas in front of our houses. After doing Lakshmi Puja, just you burn the crackers. That's why it is called as festival of lights. Is it clear children? So it is one of the important festival of Hindus. Now coming to Eid. See, here Eid, it is a festival of Muslims. It is a festival of Muslims. See, Eid is celebrated after 30 days of fasting. 30 days of fasting. They won't eat for 30 days from morning to evening. After 30 days of fasting, this period is known as Ramzan. You can call it as Eid or Ramzan. Eid or Ramzan. So, on the 30th day after fasting, after completing 30 days of fasting, then they will celebrate Eid or Ramzan. On that day, the Muslims will go to mosques and they greet each other. See, they greet each other by saying Eid Mubarak. Eid Mubarak. So this is one of the important festival of Muslims. Is it clear children? Now coming to Christmas. This is another important festival of Christians. Is it clear children? So Christmas. Why they are celebrating Christmas? Because Christmas is celebrated every year. The month, the month or date won't change for Christmas. Every year 20, 25th December they celebrate. Why they will celebrate only on 25th December? Because it is the birthday of Jesus Christ. See, you are also celebrating your birthdays. Your birthday dates won't change. Month and dates won't change. In the same way, it is the birthday of Jesus Christ. So on his birthday, the Christians will celebrate Christmas. Is it clear children? See, people go to church. For Hindus, they will go to temples. And for Muslims, they go to mosques. In the same way, the Christians will go to church to pray. Is it clear children? And on Christmas, the Christians, they will, they will also wear new dress. They will go to church and pray. And during this Christmas, the Christians decorate the Christmas tree in their house. And they give, they distribute gifts to their friends and relatives. Is it 
literature. So this is the festival of Christians. Christmas is the festival of Christians. Now coming to another festival. Guru Pura. Guru Pura. It is the festival of six. It is the festival of six. See, Guru Pura is celebrated at different times of the year. So different according to their calendar. Different times they will be celebrating throughout the year. And six go to Gurudwaras. See here once again. Hindus go to temples. Muslims go to mass. Christians go to church. And here six go to Gurudwaras to pray. Is it clear children? See, they also wear new clothes and meet family and friends. Meet family and friends. And here food is cooked in a common kitchen. Food is cooked in a common kitchen called Langar in Gurudwaras. See, whoever will come to Gurudwaras, here they will keep, provide food for each and every person. By cooking food in a common kitchen called Langar. Is it clear, children? So, these are the different festivals. In India, we are having different religions and out of those, these are the important festivals of our India. I hope you have understood this lesson. Read the textbook. Watch the video. Read the textbook. Is it clear? Thank you.